So, the college basketball season is in full swing now. The non-conference games are pretty much over at this point, and what's here now is like, well, um, conference play. Um, so, you don't know, the ACC moved to a 20-game conference schedule. The Pac-12 is moving next year. The Big Ten already has it. The SEC hasn't done anything about it, even though they should be at 20. Um, you know, uh, Big 12 can't. They don't have enough members. They only have 10, but the round robin for them is perfect for right now, um, unless they can add some money in basketball. The Big East will get the 20 conference games next year. Uh, when UConn comes back, and there's some other smaller conferences that are like, you know, hey, we're doing this too. The Southland, the um, the Metro, the, the MAC, AAC, the MAAC is doing that. Um, Southland, the Sun Belt, uh, Mountain West is coming back to a 20-game schedule. So, you know, less non-conference opportunities um, as far as, like, you know, bad, bad teams, Division Two teams, stuff like that. But this has been a crazy college basketball season already, um, for starters. So you know, it is what it is. Um, now there is a couple of games that I want to highlight um, during you know Wild Card Weekend in the NFL. There's a lot of storylines going on in college basketball need to be addressed and honestly college basketball right now is just way more entertaining and way more you know exciting to watch than the NBA right now there's hardly going to be anything revolving around the NBA until like I don't know maybe like late January at most and there's a couple of bad games you know that are scheduled for prime time and stuff like that on you know the on stuff like that, but that's neither here nor there. Let's talk about some of these games first off. Um, so we'll take a look at Saturday. This is the main day. This is the day college basketball gets to shine again on, you know, all the networks and stuff like that. So first off, we'll take a look at Georgia taking on a Wiseman list. Uh, Memphis, who, and I don't remember James Wiseman, he left Memphis, um, be like, yo, NBA draft or it G League or something like that. You know, Penny Hardaway is just like he, he's really rallying his troops that that's left. Um and you know, the Memphis has a good record this season. I think they've only lost one game as far as I know. Let me check that right now. Um, as far as I know, the um well I Yeah, yeah, they only have lost one game. They've already played a conference game early against Tulane on Monday. Um, that was um, last year, of course. You know, now it's twenty twenty. Uh, but you know, um, there, 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 and there, there's other guys that are just like, oh yeah, um, like KJ Lawson. He was booed basically by you know the Memphis fans. As far as that goes, I'm not sure what in the world is going on there. But, you know, Memphis has a lot of things going wrong with them right now. and But they're getting, they're riding the ship, and they've got, you know, they've got things, you know, together and stuff like that. So um, the American Athletic Conference is a tough, tough conference right now. Uh, Memphis is 12-1, and one, um, so, you know. And looking on downward here, down the rabbit hole here, is the team that they'll be facing on Saturday, which is the Georgia Bulldogs, 9-3. and three. Uh, Haven't played a conference game yet. Um, Georgia's a team that just kind of, you know, like most SEC teams, are just kind of there. They, they probably may or may not get an NCAA tournament bid at the end because the SEC is just not very good at basketball. Um, let, let's just keep it at that. Uh, but this will be an interesting game, another tough test for the Memphis Tigers heading into conference play, heading into more difficult conference play aside from Tulane. Um, um, of course, there's the Big East stuff, you know, like um, that Fox is like airing 
and some Big Ten games as well. Indiana taking on Maryland. That should be interesting there. Villanova, who's steadily risen back up into the top to the top of the ranks. Um, Gonzaga's number one, and they'll probably be number one for a while. So, you know, and Gonzaga has a litany of problems themselves. Um, they've lost players. They're reloading. And players are getting lost to injury like Hachimura, um, stuff like that. So, you know. Um, it's crazy, crazy, crazy time. Um, but, and what about my Texas Longhorns? Um, not going to lie to you. We are not good. Uh, don't let the 10 wins that we have fool you. We are not a very good team. Um, we struggle against real competition. We struggle. And it's always hard, you know. And I, don't, I don't know if Shaka Smart is really the guy to right the ship for us. You know, we're just going to keep on keep on trucking with them um, until, you know, things get better. Um, and we do play Baylor on Saturday. Duke is also, you know, played like cupcakes for like three straight weeks. But now they're opening up conference play. It's Miami, Florida. And, you know, it's going to be fun. Zach is taking on Pepperdine. Um, yeah, key game on Sunday during those, you know, and during those other wild card games that are going on on Sunday, is Michigan, Michigan State. Uh, Michigan State really hasn't been, they really have kind of fell off a little bit, not too much. They're, they're still the same Michigan State team. I know they did lose. Um, they were number, they were like number one or something like that, and then they lost. Um, I can't remember when, but Michigan's a great team. I've seen them play. Um, they, they are really fun to watch, man. And I can't wait to see them again on the Sunday Signal. Um, there's also some other biggie stuff going on. I believe it's Xavier. I'm not sure. Exactly. Hold on. Let me, let me go to the big. Let me go to the Big East because you know you gotta, you gotta talk about the Big East a little bit. I do believe. Yeah, it's Butler. Butler is is 13 and one. You know they're like a top 10 fridge team right now. Uh, there's a lot of stuff going on in the Big East. Um, but the game that was the game that's being scheduled is like a um, oh it's Xavier so you know, it doesn't really matter all that much um, yeah um, so you know there's a bunch of games to keep your eyes out on on Sunday uh, well not really a bunch but only about a couple to keep your eyes out on Sunday keep your eyes on Michigan Michigan State on Sunday and keep your eyes on St John's and Xavier. Um, those will be on network television, so the Michigan State game will be on CBS. The Big East is basically a Fox production now, so, you know. Um, and Saturday, um, keep your eyes on Duke, and and if you're a Texas fan like me, you got to keep your eyes on Baylor game. Um, we're, we're playing Baylor, so. Um, but those will be like, uh, actually, no, 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 they won't be. They're, it's like late Saturday game, so for the NFL, so, you know, um, yeah. Um, I don't know how many games I'm going to keep my eye on, at least. Um, but at least the games that are on Fox and CBS, you have to keep your eyes on. So Villanova Marquette, you have to keep your eye on. Um, again, Georgia Memphis, you have to keep your eye on. Um, Indiana Maryland, even though I haven't really heard too much about Maryland or Indiana at all. Um, yeah, keep your eyes on those games. Um uh, and Creighton is taking on Butler, so you, you, you want to, you know, get your fix in there, uh, watch that game. Um, yeah, so so we'll, we'll see what happens this Saturday and Sunday during the um, during the wild card stuff. Um, it's going to be a fun, fun day of basketball and football, man. I cannot wait. So are you ready? Because, I mean, you know, I'm ready for some college basketball. I'm ready to kick off my coverage of college basketball again. So um, this is a this is fun, you guys, and we'll see you guys maybe tomorrow about the uh, Black Monday stuff that I said in the last video. Y'all take care. Peace.